Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here and in today's episode we will have a quick tip regarding forms and uh, we want to achieve a certain behavior, we want to see the results of the items we already selected in our combo box. This is the choice column, we want to see instead of the items we want to list them uh, under the, under the drop-down. So how to do this? This is a quite an uh, easy thing. First of all, you, you may see the lock on the um, certain cards. I unlocked this one. So if you want to work on this, uh, this car kind of uh, data card, uh, you will need, you would need to unlock this as the first step. Second of all, you will just make the, this bigger in, in, uh, in order to see those um, those items just uh, beneath, and let's insert the text label. Up. You will need to make sure that this text label is on the same on the same data card as uh, as uh, the the combo box. Next, we want to see. What is our combo box? How it's named? It's data card value four. So in here we will go. We will concatenate all the names that we are we've selected in the items. So we we'll got we're gonna do the data card value four. Card value four. Dot. We have the selected items. This is the table on which we are operating because the first, the first um, argument of the concat function is the table. Then we want to work on the value because the value is what was chosen already, and we want to use the delimiter as a, a comma. So this is it. We can just resize it, or you can just try to manipulate the the height of this item based on how many items were selected. Hop, hop, hop. Set collection. Pow, pow. Three items selected. We already see the, the three items. You can, of course, you can, of course, manipulate this, this label uh, to fit your, your needs. But this is how we do it. This is how we see the combo box uh, as an easy option. But this is not the only choice you have uh, regarding the combo box. You can completely drop this and instead of the combo box, you can create a collection which will use your choice. And in uh, in items, it will have the, the checkbox, which selection will be visible based on what you selected. So this is also an option if you have a short list. If you have a large list with many options, then stick to the combo box. But if not, you should consider the multiple checkbox, which will be also uh, talked in my other video. This will be in the description, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's been Fukowski out. I hope you, you've, you've been, uh, uh, you've got something from this movie. And uh, if, if yes, you can subscribe, like, etc. I have many other videos regarding power up, uh, power apps, power platform, power automate, etc. See you. Zbigniew Kuski out.